first I'm going to explain why keep alerts are so important by sharing with you guys a story of how I made over $400 off of just basically pressing a button to buy an item. So right here we have Dragon Ball. Uh, this is an older Dragon Ball game. I believe it's a Dragon Ball fighting game, but I haven't played it myself. So here I looked at the Kiba graph. So if we go down here, I, I have the Kiba Chrome extension uh, right here. And you can see this game was going for about $80. And then Amazon randomly went back in stock right here for $20 in the yellow. Uh, so I saw this. I, uh, I set an alert for it because they, in the past, went in stock for $20. So I bought the game for, for that price. And then I was sent this. So this is a copy of of Dragon Ball, uh, one of the older ones, and it's actually a black label and it's holographic. And if you guys aren't like a video game nerd, that is a big deal. So if we go to eBay and we look at how much this game's actually worth, I know you guys might say, oh, it's only $70, that's what Keepa says. Well, a lot of these people are selling the player's choice version of this game, which is actually a lot less. And you'll see that the black label version, holographic, the one that I have, is going for $260 currently on eBay. I'm going to send these into WADA to get them graded, which is basically like a video game grading company. And hopefully I'll just keep them for the collection for many years and uh, somebody will buy them off of me for hopefully above $500 if they get a really good grade, but I'm saying this is why keep alerts are so important. You can buy items for below market value and then sell them for a lot more, either on Amazon or eBay or uh, whatever platform you want to choose. So hopefully I got you guys a little enticed on like, how do I actually set these keep alerts? Like, wow, like I want to make money um, setting these keep alerts. Well, I'll show you right now. So moving forward, how do you actually set a Keep Alert? So going down, so this is given that you already have the Keep a Chrome extension ex installed. There's a price history tab right here under the listing. And then we have the track product tab. So you're wanna, gonna wanna hit the track product tab. So right here, we have a few different options. We can set, we can set a price, so Say we want to buy this Lego set. Currently, it's going for $40 on Amazon. So say if Amazon were to come in stock on this item and we wanted to buy it on Amazon to flip it back onto Amazon, say we'd have to buy it for uh, $15 for it to be profitable, you can put $15 there. Uh, if a third-party seller is selling this for $15, we'd also want to buy it too. And we don't want to buy a Lego set in used condition um, just because it's a Lego set. So here... If hypothetically this Lego set were to go into stock by Amazon for $15, we could buy it for $15 and then sell it for $40. On this listing, due to the, the price history, that would never happen, but this is just an example because there are items where that happens. So I'll go over a specific example of where that happens. This is just kind of showing you uh, the different uh, what the alerts do. So this is one item that I had that I was tracking myself and it's just a freebie for you guys. So this was a uh, XXX Tentation Skins Vinyl and it was going, so here you can see it was going for $21.98 and then people were selling it on Amazon for $87.99. So, and it wasn't selling that often, but you know, it was selling some uh, you got a few humps here in Keepa, which indicates sales. So this was an item that I was tracking, and I was, you know, trying to buy for low and then sell for higher. So that's just an example here. But I want to highlight, let's look, go back to this Lego listing. I want to highlight, so you don't always have to just buy items that come in stock by Amazon for a very low price, right? There's Keepa is very vast, and you can do a lot of different things with it. So say I was a retail arbitrage seller, you know, somebody that goes into like a, a Walmart or a Target and then buys items. So say this Lego set, we can look at the price history. Let's just, this is all hypothetical. 
in the past it was going for $68. So say you knew you could buy this item at Target for $30, it would be very helpful to get alerted when this item was being sold on Amazon for $68. Well, how would you do that? We can only set, um, you know, keep alerts for when the item goes or less. Well, actually, you can set a keep alert when the price increases. So you basically you just hit this little button and then we can get alerted when the price goes up to $86 either by Amazon or by a third party seller or even in used condition. So I know this is a Lego set so you wouldn't really want to set an alert for when it was in used condition but say like you're a video game seller and it's Christmas time and Wii bundles are going for a lot of money. Uh, Say a certain Wii bundle with like Wii Sports are going for like a lot of money, but you want to get notified when that Wii bundle is going for like $250 or $300 because that's a lot of money. Um, you can set an alert with the more setting and get alerted when that product is selling for a very high price. So then you know, oh, I need to go to my local video game stores and then buy up all the you know the Wii's with the Wii Sports bundle, and then flip them on Amazon and make um, hundred dollars profit per per bundle I flip. So that's just another uh, idea for you guys. Just uh, trying to give you a few golden nuggets here. So basically, so yeah, this is a really great feature. And um, just to be frank with you guys, like I've made some good money off of setting these keep alerts and. I don't really, I don't really feel bothered by by sharing this information because, to be honest, like, to really utilize the keep alerts, you kind of have to set a lot of them, and sometimes setting a lot of these alerts, uh, you might spend hours doing it, and then you don't see, you don't see the results. But if you set keep alerts every day for even like a month, you're gonna start getting so many really good products that are below market value that are sent to your uh your inbox it's it's going to be great and you can profit uh, a good bit of money so here we're going to go over the advanced view oh whoops the pro view and see keepa is so vast you can track so many different things it's amazing so you could track like if a lightning deal um came up if like a really good lightning deal came up you could buy something below market value there um the new offer count i feel like this would be a good uh, feature to use if you were like a retail arbitrage seller and say like a lot of these retail arbitrage items a lot of people get them in and then the price tanks so say like um, say you were to buy a Lego set right and it was clearance at Walmart dot, uh, sorry it was clearance at Walmart in store right and the price currently is doing pretty good right um, more people are going to get on that listing because all the Walmarts are clearancing it out Say you want to get notified when the offer account on Amazon, the amount of people that are selling that item on Amazon goes up, you could get notified. To, so, um, and the reason why that would be useful is if the price went all the way up, right? Uh, I'm, I mean, sorry, if the price was really high and then the new offer account went up, the price is going to go down. So that would kind of indicate you, hey, I need to uh, lower my price so I can get out before the market gets flooded. So, and then we have all of these other great features, you know, sales rank, rating, review count, buy box, uh, collectible condition, refurbished condition. So all of these you guys can experiment with. They would be really great to set alerts uh, for, but I'm gonna actually go over how do you get these alerts. So after you've set a keep alert, so say, I'm gonna go back to the basic view, right? So say we wanna get a alert if this is more right so we want to get notified if this Lego set goes back to that $68 price I'm gonna hit track uh, start tracking but before I do that you can also track for the amount of time you want to track the item I usually just do 10 years because a lot of my a lot of my criteria um, I just I just do it that way but you can set it for you know two weeks a month whatever you want to do so you can do start tracking and then here I'm going to blur it out but uh, there's my email 
Uh, so whatever it shows here is going to be your email address and then you can get alerts that are sent to that email address and the other way I'll show you right now so right now we're at keepa.com and right here you can see under the tracking tab recent notifications and then these are all my Keepa alerts lately and you can see the skins vinyl um, I set it so if we go here update existing tracking I set it for when Amazon was below $34 and the, the third party seller price was below third or if the third party seller price is below $34 so I got notified hello I hope this video has been valuable as long as you stick with it and keep setting alerts at a certain point you'll have so many alerts that you'll be getting a lot of really great products um, personally off of this this specific method of just using keep alerts I've been able to sit at home and profit over three thousand dollars just off of buying these random items uh, that I get alerted for that are below market value and then selling them for more on either Amazon or eBay. So I hope this video has been valuable to you guys.